What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 Hong video. Today we got a call from a homeowner asking us if we could bring his 70 foot Viking brand new boat to the marina. It's going to be a challenge for sure. Yep, so we'll be hopping in our trucks and I will be taking the semi truck. And I'll be taking the Chevy Silverado that airs a Duramax and it's lifted so it's pretty cool. I'm going to be the pilot truck for today. Yep, so we'll hop in our trucks, we'll turn them on, and I did lower down the windows in my truck, which is a pretty cool feature, but we'll pull out here, I do have the GPS set up, so we make sure we go to the correct house, but we'll probably find out that it is the correct one, since it's a 70 foot boat, and it's a very large boat, so we'll be taking a right out of here, and then it's going to be the first right after the turn. That Duramax engine sounds awesome. Yeah, this truck is beautiful. So we just left the headquarters, making our way over there. And this is one interesting haul. It's going to be pretty interesting, like I was saying, how we are going to be driving through these roads, making sure we do not put any scratches on the boat. So we should be seeing the boat any moment now. Whoa, take a look at that. That is wow. one giant boat. And to make it easier on myself, instead of kind of backing up, I'm just going to go around the circle. That way I do not have to back up and I just kind of back up very little. But we do have to do a light check, making sure that everything is working before we actually kind of pull out because it is not our trailer. We do need to make sure everything works just in case. So we'll back up. Yep, and I'm going to block off the street so we have the time. I'm going to turn on my light so people know. Yep, so I'm going to turn the hazard lights and the beacon lights on, and we'll be walking along this. Take a look at all these lights. That's going to be pretty awesome to make sure that all drivers are aware. But this is a 70-foot boat, and it extends past this trailer. Looks like the hazard lights and everything like that works. So we'll walk back to our trucks. We'll hop in, and we'll be making our way over. Now, we want to stay anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. We do not want to go too fast, especially when we have to navigate through these very narrow streets. We'll pull out here, and I do have to make sure we do not scrape this tree over here to the left. So I'll be going right over there on the opposite side of the center area. Wow, guys, this boat is beautiful. It is so tall, it is bigger than the house that we towed earlier. Yep, you guys can see it is larger than the house, and that is one very large house. It's one of the largest houses in Farming Sims, so that just shows you the size, but we are actually going left. Let me block off the street so you can turn left. Yep, that works perfect. So we'll kind of make sure, and I will try my best to make sure the boat uh, trailer tires do not go past the asphalt, making sure because the gravel isn't always the best to kind of drive along, especially with a very heavy boat like this. But having a dolly of this size, you guys can see here, is just very helpful, making sure we take a lot of weight off the axles. And uh, it looks like not this turn, but the next one, we do have to pretty much turn. So if you want to pass, that's going to be very helpful. Yeah, we have to turn right up there. And since there is an airport, we have to make sure that we do not stay close to it because we have a very tall load today. But this is also a very oversized load, probably one of the largest loads we have hauled within the last few weeks. And a lot of you guys have been asking us for some very epic hauling videos like this one. So if you do have any cool video ideas for us, let us know down below in the comments. We are always open to your feedback. But we should actually slow it down just a little. We are going just way too fast. And with a boat of this size, it's just way too heavy. So it looks like on the next turn, we will be uh, pretty much turning. So I will kind of let you pass. And I will just keep my hazard lights on. And when we do need to turn, I will turn them back on. But we'll continue. And driving slower is going to be safer. Since this is a brand new boat, we do not want any scratches on it. So we will be turning here. And I think this will be the best area for us to turn. There's no trees at the corners, and I'll actually probably go through this map before it gets released and pretty much edit this, making sure that there are no trees exactly on the corner that we guys can trailer anything, and I'll give you some room for you to pass on my left. 
passing. And that is one awesome pilot truck. Yeah, it is. It sounds so nice. It's big orange. You can't miss it. Yeah, so it looks like this Dodge sign is leaning over the street just a little. So I have to make sure that we do not hit the top of the tower of the boat on that. So I will stay more towards the grass. And uh, we are probably damaging some grass, but I think that's fine instead of damaging this very expensive boat. So you can drive past. Wow, that actually works out great because there's a parking lot right there. Yep. And there, this is actually pretty narrow. Trees on both sides. We are driving past the lawn care shop, and you guys will be seeing a lawn care video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be pretty cool. But we are taking up pretty much the entire roadway. So that just shows how large this boat is. Yeah, guys, this is a really heavy load. we got to be really careful with it. So far, it has been flawless. We really want to get it there safe so we get paid correctly. Yep, and the homeowner had it at his house so that he could do a few things that he wanted to do to it. Add all the uh, things inside, which will be pretty awesome for him. And this is like a mini house on the water, so he's going to be driving this boat in style. So we made it to the marina, guys. So what is next for us is you can block off the roadway behind me, and I will attempt to back in this very large trailer. Yep, so I'm going to place the, the, the truck right where it'll block off the road. I'm going to get out and help you back it up. Yeah, so I'm going to pull forward a lot and we need to make sure we do not go near that building. So you need to make sure that I'm not going to hit that. But I will start to turn right here. We are going already up onto the grass, but maybe it will turn itself and everything like that. So we will, we are way over on the grass, but that's fine. It's better to be safe than uh, hitting this Keep boat coming. on anything. Keep it coming. Keep coming. Alright, you wanna gotta get over. You should be okay. Keep coming. Wow, this is a very challenging boat to pretty much move around. And uh, that trash can almost just got hit. But it yeah. looks like I got the boat back on the asphalt, which is good. So we'll pull up the boat here really fast, making sure it's all straight and uh, looks really good for the marina also. So we'll just kind of ease back, not too fast. And since we did straighten it out, it's a very little uh, wheel movements we really have to do. So we aren't going to be launching this. It requires multiple cranes to lift this boat up. But we'll just take a walk around. You guys can see that we use this semi-truck here to haul the 70-foot boat. And take a look at this dolly. This dolly has eight wheels on each. So that is 32 wheels over here. Same with over here. It has 32 wheels. And these actually are turning wheels, which are very, very helpful, especially when going on some narrow roads. So we will have two cranes lifting this up, and we will be doing a multiplayer boating video very soon. But take a look at this, guys. We need to build some larger docks. These docks aren't going to be able to uh, maintain that boat, especially if there's a few waves at this lake. But look, there's a boat over here, so we will probably have to take up this whole uh, area, or we might take up this end, maybe have this end one twice as large, because we need one to secure each uh, section of the boat. But we'll walk back, we'll take one last look at it, but hope you guys enjoyed today's multiplayer hauling video, hauling the 70-foot Viking. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more!